Hi, Tim Hard here with Forest Applications Training Incorporated with another Tim's Tips. Because if you're a pilot, if you're a truck driver, if you're a motorcyclist, or you're a chainsaw operator, it's very important that you have a good pre-checklist to go over to maintain control and safety. There's an important part of the task that has to happen before the action begins. You have to take the time before the start to look over the saw and take it apart. Somewhat of an abbreviated version that we call maintenance, or what I call reduced downtime, RDT. The pre-saw walk around or checklist will make your next chainsaw driving experience safe and productive. It's simple. It takes a little time before you begin, but it will save you time and money in the end. What's up with all these rhymes? hopefully to get your brain to remember this important message. Functional safety features. Check the chain brake, throttle interlock, and the chain catch. Make sure they're there and also proper operation. Breathing and cooling. Air filter system, cooling fins, and a little bit of cleanup can help to keep everything running smooth. No cracks, no leaks, no loose screws. Look over your chainsaw for loose or missing screws. Starting the saw. Make sure the starter rope, the grip, and the paws are grabbing to make sure the starter is going to work properly for you in the field. Saw chain, guide bar, and your drive sprockets. Check for sprocket wear at the crankshaft and also at the bar tip. Check for straight bar rails and clean the rail to make sure it lubricates properly. Look for any cracked or broken cutter teeth, damaged points. Remember the five parts of the chain. The depth gauge, the point, the side, the top, and the chisel. Also check the rivets and tie straps, that they are all intact. Next a run check, making sure everything's ready to go before you head to the field. It's always good to review your owner's manual. Make sure your starting procedures are fresh in your mind and that when you get to the field you won't have any problems. It should start within seven, no more than ten pulls. When you're running that saw at high RPM, make sure you have flutter so you don't have any engine damage. And don't forget before you pull the rope and especially before you get to the wood, make sure that you have on your full personal protective equipment. A hard hat and safety glasses. Make sure you're visible, some bright colors, gloves, chaps, or cutting pants. PPE will hopefully reduce an injury should an accident occur. That's an unplanned event that we want to make sure we have covered. And it's always a good idea, especially at least once a season, to look over your owner's manual from the manufacturer. Make sure you're familiar with all the ins and outs and also kind of refreshes a few of those safety items that we need to consider. And more information can be found at our website at forestapps.com. That's www.forestapps.com. You can reach us at, at info at forestapps.com. We also have a Forest Apps ebook available from barnesandnoble.com or off our website. It gives you a lot of information on cutting techniques and especially planning processes for operating a chainsaw. It's called the Complete Guide to Chainsaw Safety and Directional Felling. If you picked up something, please press like and also subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. We'll be putting out several other types of video information as we go along our four staffs road.